So you are here because you would love to install the Bitmoji and use it on your signature for your Gmail account. Well, it's possible. Once you have installed Bitmoji as a Google Chrome extension, you'll get this message that says Bitmoji for Gmail is ready to go. And they've added, automatically added an avatar to your Compose email bar. So when you are creating a message, it is already there. All you have to do is simply click on it to insert a Bitmoji into any email. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom where it says insert emoji and now you have many different emojis that you can insert. You can say I love you. We've got chemistry. Like you can just write a bitmoji to yourself about self-love and self-care or to someone that you really care about who's struggling and having a hard time in life, you know? Just wish them amazing Bitmoji love. That's one way of using Bitmoji for your Gmail. Now another way is using Bitmoji in your email. And so I have another Gmail account that I've already done that with. So as you see right here it says, God bless, create, uplift, teach Ms. Campbell. So the way that I did that was I went to settings. This button right here, I clicked on settings. Okay? And then once I click on settings, I scroll down to the bottom where I see my signature. I only have one signature. Many people have multiple, but for me, I have one signature for new emails and on reply or forward messages. So the way that I did this insertion, I'm going to create a new one as a sample signature to show you all. Create. And then I'm going to click the Bitmoji at the top right inside of the Chrome extension. And then I'm going to find a picture of myself that I like. You can scroll down to the popular ones or you can type in a word that you would like. So I like to say hi, greet everyone with a friendly smile. And what I will do is I'll right click the emoji. Then I will click the button copy image. Then I would click the signature box and I would paste it into the box by holding down the command V. Now you see how big that is? <laughs> now if you don't know what the command V is, there's another option of clicking edit and just pasting it that way. If, that's, if, if you feel more comfortable doing that, then perfect. You choose what is best for you. And so the Bitmoji comes really huge. <laughs> oh my god. But once you click it once, they give you the option to make it a small, medium, or large, or original size. Right now it's the original size if you want it large, medium, or small. So I created mine small because it's a good size. This is how it would look small. As you see, it's the same size. And so if you want to add words, you can do that. Hi. Hi. You know, have a blessed day. And then you click the enter return button to bring it down to the bottom. And then you can click in front of it, click the enter return button to write your name. You can say, I'm a second grade teacher. And a quote, live to help others. Something that speaks to you or create, uplift, teach that's for me and so that is how you do it once you have your words there sample signature I'm going to change it now once I'm done editing you see the sample signature if you want for new emails use then you're going to have to change it to sample signature and I'm going to show you how it changes so you have to go scrolling down to save everything you have to save your changes once that's saved you click compose and now look, my new Bitmoji signature is ready to go. Super simple. I hope this was helpful for you. If at any time you feel confused or need any help, please feel free to comment, message, and let me know how you did. Thank you again for watching, and have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.